the pleasure of being yelled at by my next guest for over 20 years. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Louis Black. Really good. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I know you got the new stand-up tour, The Joke's On Us. Yes. Uh, you got vinyl out of your last uh, comedy it's, it's concert. A, it's a what double you? album. Double album, Lewis Double album. Black? Yeah, only okay. the, the Beatles and uh -huh. me. Black, Black to the Future. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Now, uh, <laughs> let's... You're an American. I'm an American. Uh, let's talk about American traditions. How was your Thanksgiving? Uh, I leave the country. Really? Yeah. That's the opposite of what the pilgrims did. Yeah. No, I get out. Where do you go? Uh, Why do you go, first of all? I, I go because uh, about 15 years ago, a friend of mine and I were having dinner at his mother's house, and we realized his mother couldn't cook a turkey. And uh, it wasn't, it was tasteless. And uh, it was, why were we doing this? Mm -hmm. And my mother, I already discovered years before that, would cook a turkey and it would taste as if it had a muscular problem. <laughs> so, so mm -hmm. it was just, let's get out of here. So let's, you leave the country. We leave the country and go to, uh, you know, uh, this year, Portugal. What'd you have for Thanksgiving, Louis? Uh, pork. Always good for a Jew to d dig into a little pork. <laughs> Portuguese, Portuguese pork. <laughs> there you go. A little grilled octopus or something like that. I had some octopus there. What I really like about going away, yeah, uh, and especially now, oh yeah, you know, because it's uh, is there's nothing beats going to a country and you don't really understand their language. Yeah. So you're sitting in a beautiful cafe, mm -hmm. and nobody around you, you don't understand anything anyone's saying, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's no greater moment. It's 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 serene because at that moment in time there are no ass anywhere. You have no way of knowing. Yeah. Speaking no. of speak, speaking of which, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 let's talk a little politics for a second. You ready to do this? I, have you looked at the Republicans' tax bill at all? Has has? Yeah. Have, well, what, what do you what do you think, Lou? I think it helps us, you and me. Yeah, because we got we got cash. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, that means something's got to be wrong with it. Here's why. We don't need help. A lot of people need help, not us. Mm -hmm. So... But the trickle-down. Oh, yeah. That trickle... But the, the trickle-down. But the, 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 this, is, this, is, this is more trickle-down. You just no, fill the top it, bucket and it trickles down. No, here's the idea. Here's, you want to test that trickle-down theory? Drink about 20 beers. Mm. Then pee your pants, okay? <laughs> then put a cup... Put a cup down here. Yes. And stand and see how long it takes for that pee to get, fill up that cup. All right. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Okay, like, we'll do it next week. Now, uh, there are a lot of sexual allegations uh, 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 arising in many different industries. You're one of the elder statesmen of outrage. What is, what is your level of outrage uh, uh, about what's going on now or what we're finding out now? I'm just kind of stunned that, that my generation, which should have known better because that's the beginning in a sense, the, 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 the first real kick about, you know, women's liberation, you know, all of this stuff that should have been dealt with years ago, you know, my generation kind of knew that and was talking about it and discussing it. And in the meantime, it wasn't dealt, women didn't get equal pay, women didn't get, you know, they didn't get and so as a result, it all got put on a back burner, all of it. It all got thrown in the back, you know, got thrown on the back burner. And then eventually, the, the, the stove exploded. And that's what we got now. The stove has exploded. It's a ceasefire. Don't throw water on it. Yeah. Well, no. you know, I mean, you, I mean, I, the thing that I don't get is, you know, I had a TV show for about eight minutes. And uh, we did, like, two short seasons. I don't know where you get the energy 
No, Dude, I find that amazing. Isn't that unbelievable? That I, is the greatest thing to keep you on the straight and narrow is to work hard enough. Well, the people who are having sexual, you know, misconduct in an office, I'm like, you should fire them just for not being busy enough. Yeah. I, Where do you find the time to do that? To be an ass. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. And, and the, the exhaustion that I felt just when Comedy Central would give me notes. By like at 10 o'clock in the morning about what we did the day before and what was the show was gonna be. Uh -huh. So by 10.15, I didn't have the energy to have sex. <laughs> by the time they're done... Because normally 10.15 is the oh, time. 10.15. Perfect time to have sex, 10.15. Uh, well, actually, you know, I mean, sure. these guys were having it. What, 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 any, see, but how do I you... I don't know. Like, all I cared about was when can I get my drink? That was all I cared about. When's the day over and I can, you know, knock something back? I wish I had something for you right here. I don't have everything. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. what can I tell you? I don't well, get the... it. I mean, who the hell? You can make, I mean, the other thing is the whole thing about just masturbating in front of people. I mean, how? I don't even have the courage to ask for dates sometimes. <laughs> I don't. I, I go to great lengths so women will never see my penis. <laughs> no. You know, really. <laughs> I am, there is no pride here. You know, I, and also, I'd be wearing an overcoat if they would allow me right now. <laughs> I'm a 53-year-old man. <laughs> That's, this is why, this is why I tell my wife, is like, you know, when these things come up with like Matt Lauer or something, like, I go, this is why I'm not fit. <laughs> if I were fit, this is what would be going on. This is what happens when a man in his 50s and has a six-pack, you know something <laughs> wrong. <laughs> The new tour is The Joke's On Us. The album is Black to the Future. Louis Black, everybody. We'll be right back. Don't forget to click subscribe. It's almost as satisfying as skip ad.